guys do you really think that um the bbl era is over just let me know in the comments because obviously we've seen it everywhere that miss kim kardashian herself has removed her big butt her big implants her breast implants and she's looking skinny lately she's been looking skinny like i don't even think she's ever looked this skinny before and chloe kardashian as well she's been looking skinny i mean kylie has been looking a little bit more thinner but with a little bit of curves so people have been wondering if the bbl era is definitely over and that's what we're gonna discuss today hello there hey guys how you doing if you're new to this channel please subscribe and join the family welcome to the way up my name is solange like i said i probably said it before but whatever and in today's video we are going to discuss not only the bbl but the trends about women's body like the women's body being a trend like first of all i'm not like i don't agree with it like i feel like a woman's body should not be a trend like what do you think just let me know in the in the comments like it's so crazy to me i mean it's so crazy to me that someone's body can be a trend like something that god created and that we normally don't even have control over can actually be a trend like make it make sense but it actually makes sense it definitely makes sense in today's world it makes sense to humans i just don't don't understand and i definitely do not agree with a woman's body being objectified and being like being a trend just being a trend period not even being objectified just knowing that we can go from skinny to thick to slim thick and then going back to skinny like in a lifetime let's just keep in mind the fact that we have one body it's just one body Honey, this video is probably gonna be long, so just grab something to drink. I'm, I have a cocktail, I got my cocktail right here. Mm, delectable, it's, it, it is so good. Anyways, grab a cup of tea, grab a glass of wine or whatever it is that you like to drink. And let's just chit chat. Let's just talk about this because it's been bothering me for a while and I don't think I'm the only one given all the videos that I've been seeing whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube like this has been a topic for a while now so I feel like I'm not the only one that's been you know thinking and cogitating about this topic right so I came across a different videos of people talking about the fact that you know the Kardashians are definitely trendsetters when it comes to when it comes to women's body i mean the kardashian the kardashians were definitely trendsetters and the fact that they're they have starting from kim the fact that she has removed her implants and if you guys actually think that she doesn't have a bbl anymore you guys are naive because just because miss kim has removed her implants doesn't mean she doesn't have an, a BBL anymore. And that's something that people are, are they, like, they're just failing to understand it. Like, look at Kylie Jenner. That's not her natural body. We, we definitely, we all know that, that that's not her natural body. I mean, allegedly, she hasn't done any, any plastic surgery, but we know that's not her natural figure, right? So whether she reduced her butt or her breasts doesn't mean she doesn't have a BBL anymore. I feel like lately, the more natural looking BBLs are in. Like we are over that trend 
of having a big butt that doesn't even match with the thighs like that's just so 2019 and 2018 like back in the day everybody had like the people who were doing the the bbls were just doing the most and trust me i've came across a lot of people like in my in real life i'm not even speaking about social media people i know different people who had had surgery done procedures like a bbl and they look so natural right you wouldn't even tell that they, they they have gone through a procedure now let's say let's just say that maybe the bbl era is over let's just pretend that it is i know it's not but let's just say that it is do you think that if the bbl era was over women would feel more comfortable in their bodies do you think that we would have less pressure on our bodies because i don't think so just let me know what you think because i feel like even in the 90s or the early 2000s where like the aesthetic was you know the skinny women tall skinny with a flat stomach i feel like even back in the day women were doing procedures the procedure the procedures were just different it was not a bbl but it was still surgery and i don't mind surgery all i'm saying is that women were not comfortable in their bodies even back in the day right so just because the bbl era might be over that doesn't mean that women are going to feel comfortable <laughs> feel comfortable <laughs> anyways i'm trying <sighs> anyways that doesn't mean that women are going to feel comfortable i'm giving you i'm giving you bob risky <laughs> i'm giving you bob risky right now i feel like we're still going to be insecure about our bodies even if the bbl era is done because look at how skinny kim has been look just l take a look at kim right now look at how skinny she's been and for her to get to that point she had to do some crazy stuff and some people have been speculating honey hmm? let me just sip I mean, people have said that she has allegedly been taking diabetes medication. Now, it's not me. I, I, I ain't never said that. I just read different articles about that. I came across this article and this doctor is actually speaking about it. She made a whole video about this and uh, she was talking about the conception of ozempic now allegedly the kardashians have been taking this medicine now i don't know if this is true or not that's why i'm saying allegedly right so don't come for me now this doctor was explaining what ozempic is and it's a medicine for people who have diabetes and it actually turns it actually turns up your insulin production and then makes your body feel full right so that you don't eat too much and you know get more insulin basically that's the point so because you your body feels full you don't eat that much so which leads to you losing weight i mean that makes sense and a few doctors ha have been speculating that the kardashian especially specifically kim has been taking this medicine like apparently this medicine has been out of stock in a whole lot of pharmacies to the point where 
even people who definitely and who truly need this medicine don't actually get it like <laughs> that's actually crazy that's just mind-blowing and i'm not saying that it's true that's what i'm that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that these women are just losing weight so fast it's unhealthy you can tell it's unhealthy like it's an unhealthy rate it's going so fast they're losing weight so rapidly it's it's crazy and i'm just i don't know nobody asked me for my opinion but i'm gonna give my opinion i'm gonna give my two cents regardless but i feel like the fuller, more voluptuous Kim looked better. I don't, I don't quite appreciate the way she's looking right now. But if she's feeling well in her body, it's okay. But even, even the unnatural part is the fact that she, she doesn't look healthy. But you know, she's a grown woman, and that's not my business, anyways. And the thing is, this getting thick. Or losing weight trend has created so many businesses like a lot of people have made so much money because of all of this because of all of these insecurities that women have about their bodies and it's so crazy to me like I have a friend of mine at some point she wanted to lose weight so bad and she was doing everything in her power to lose weight she was taking these medicines to lose weight and now she has actually totally lost a lot of weight but guess what she's doing now she's taking medicine to gain weight and me seeing her i was like yo you are the perfect client for this industry i'm saying it's medicine but it's mainly like people create coming up with brands that help you lose weight. Um, it's not even medicine. It's like detox tea or de detox pills, lose weight pills. You know the, that type of stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Or gaining weight pills and fish oil pills and you know, like that. Y'all get me. You get me. You've already seen those type of companies like going around and so many influencers actually advertise those especially in france i don't know for for other countries i don't know how it goes but so many influencers be doing a lot of publicity for these companies weight loss companies or weight gain companies so it's like what is it like what's the what, what do we have to do do I have to gain weight or do I have to lose weight? At some point, I'm confused. I must, am I supposed to be thick or skinny? <laughs> it's getting confusing at this point because it's like, what is the trend right now? So what's the trend right now? You guys let me know. Just let me know. What is the trend? Because I don't get it. Is it being thick or is it being skinny? I feel like we're going back to the 90s. But I feel like the 90s were not healthy. Like it's not a comfortable, healthy place. And I feel like we need we need to, you know, maybe to see specialists. You need to see people who are actually specialized in body acceptance. We need to accept our bodies. We need to live with the body that we were born with and start, we need to self-love. We need to love ourselves. I feel like that's what we need. Black China is removing her facial implants or, you know, whatever she did with her face, which is amazing. I mean, she's wanted to, to, to go back to Angela, like she said, like she's, she wants to go back to her natural self. And that's amazing. But I'm thinking she had a few young women who were following her for years who probably did the exact same thing that she did they enhanced the, their bodies they probably put some stuff in their lips and jaws and whatnot 
And now that she's removing it, they got to do it too. The only problem is that she got money and they probably don't even have the money to be doing the same, to be doing the same thing. And to me, that's so unfortunate. And I feel like it's so unfortunate that we, we as women let society dictate how our bodies should look. Why do, do we actually let society decide what our bodies should actually look like? If you're watching me right now and you're a woman, just ask yourself that question. Why is that? Just let me know because I'm confused. Why do we let society decide what our bodies should be looking like? And that doesn't go for men. Men just have to go to the gym or not. And they just gotta have muscles and that's it. Or not even muscles. Like we actually, men can be skinny or whatever. I don't feel like the same pressure applies to men. This video is not just about wondering if the BBL era is over or not. This video is more about self-love and accepting the body that we were born with and accepting and i have nothing against plastic surgery you already know i don't like the fact that our bodies are a trend and i don't like the fact that looking like a certain ethnicity is a trend I don't like that, you know, a lot of white celebrities at some point, they decided to look more racially ambiguous, you know, to look cool or whatever. I don't know what the point was. And Kim Kardashian again, when she was, you know, when she was practicing cultural appropriation. And I'm not even going to focus on Kim, but look at Ari Ariana Grande, for example. She used to look like this at some point. Then she looked like this. And then now she's looking like this. Like, make it make sense. I don't feel like as, um, let's say like a black woman, as a black woman, the fact that you're looking like a white woman because of all your enhancements is just not normal to me. And that applies to white women as well. The fact that you as a white woman, you actually look like a black woman or a racially ambiguous person, that shouldn't be normal. That shouldn't be okay. The fact that you as a white woman are actually looking like an Asian or Korean pop star does not even make sense to me. Like make it make sense. The girl is looking like a Korean pop star. And that is so mind blowing to me. And that is so normal. That's, that's actually normal to you guys. Am I the crazy one right right now? Like, am I the crazy one? Like, we got black women looking like white women. And we got white women looking like black women. And we got white women looking like Asian women. And it's like, and we got Asians actually looking like white women. Because their skin bleaching and everything. And it's like, when are we actually going to accept our bodies? That is so mind blowing. It's so crazy. And that's not okay. It's definitely not okay. And like, this is even true when it comes to black women as well. And I know you guys are probably going to throw tomatoes at me, but just throw it, throw tomatoes at me. I don't care. But do y'all remember Beyonce 10 years ago, what she used to look like? She used to look like this. 
And now she looks like this. Like we used to see black artists or mixed race black artists look like white women. We've seen it all over. I mean, I was born and raised in Africa and it was normal for people to bleach their skin. Like they would talk about it as if it was, you know, a skin treatment. Like, you know, the way we talk about skincare these days. Yeah, bleaching their skin was skincare. It was normal because they're supposed to look white. That's what's up. And back in the day, if you look at all the black artists who are actually into Wakanda forever, Africa forever, or the ones who bought, you know, properties in Ghana or whatever, all of them, they used to look like white women 10 years ago five years ago, they used to look like white women. They were so whitewashed. And it's like, when are we actually going to accept our bodies? Just holla at me when women actually accept their bodies the way they are. So just to conclude on, you know, the whole um, BBL, era over is it over is it not over debacle i was watching a few months ago i was watching what's his name again dr barrett i was watching him live and he was explaining to people that no the bbl trend is definitely not over it's not actually the clients that he has are women who are still doing the bbls but it's more natural it's a more subtle look. And he was actually confirming that women come into his clinic talking about the Kardashians, basically. So they want the Kardashian bodies. But at this point, they want the Kardashian bodies. But since the, those bodies are actually different right now, since those bodies are actually natural looking, that's what's going on. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Like I said, join the family. Definitely let me know what you think about this topic because I want us to have a, you know, actually a conversation. I want us to ha have a conversation. If this could have been on live, it would have been perfect because I actually want to know what you guys think about this. So yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let's have a conversation in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.